I don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, what I'm doing here, I'm doing a screen recording on the iPad 12.9 Pro because I know that during this update process that I'm going to lose connection. So let's go in here. And one of the things I love about this uh, iPad iOS 26 is this uh, liquid glass. Let me show you that. So if I go to the top, move down, I think that's uh, so cool. And something else, I'm going to log in here. And this is the uh, desktop scheme that I chose, just a personal preference. I like these translucent uh, icons. Again, my personal preference. Okay, let's go into settings. And let's go to about. And you can see up here that I'm running iPad iOS 26. If you go deeper in here, you can see the version there is a version beta 2. Let's go back. And you can see my model name is the iPad 12.9 Pro. Let's go back one more. And let's go down to software update. And as you can see there, iPad OS 26 Beta 3 was released today. And as I mentioned earlier, I did the iPad OS 26 Beta 2 a few days ago. So let's go ahead and update this. And I'll enter in my passcode. Of course, we get this. Agree. Terms and conditions. Agree. And for the short time I've been playing around with iPad OS 26, I really like it. So much that I updated my iPhone 11. And it works great. I'm not uh, encountering any major issues with uh, this beta update. Now, it is my understanding that uh, this will be released to the public probably this month, July, or quite possibly up to the fall, I'm not sure. But I do like that liquid glass feature. Now, that's just bells and whistles. What I look for mostly is the functionality. And I find that the functionality of the iPad OS 26 as opposed to iPad OS 18 is uh, vastly different and better in my opinion. It gives the feel of a of a Mac OS system where you have the uh, the traffic lights where you can expand, remove windows and all that stuff. But I've encountered no major issues with uh, even the beta two. Now it is my understanding that with this beta three update, that liquid glass has been removed. I don't know. I'll find out. But I do like it. But will it be a game changer for me? No. As I said earlier, liquid glass is simply bells and whistles. I'm looking for functionality. And I don't expect you to sit there and watch this entire process. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fast forward this update and get to the more relevant parts once we get close to the completion of uh, this update. And I'll show you what the... Uh, the desktop uh, looks like. I am timing this. I start this process at 625. As you can see here, it is now 635. So 10 minutes has uh, transpired. I watched a few videos on YouTube where individuals were claiming that this uh, update, this iPad OS 26 update is a game changer, air quote, and it will turn your iPad into a Macintosh. No, it will not. And why is that? Because iPad OS and Mac OS are two different animals. Yes, uh, both of them have uh, benefits. I'm sure you guys have seen those .dmg files. Try installing one of those on your iPad. You cannot. So don't be fooled by that hype. While this iPad OS 26 beta is great in my opinion, it does not turn your iPad into a Macintosh. It's been now almost 20 minutes and I'm getting a verify update. If your screen goes black, be patient. It's about 25 minutes and the update is complete. All right, let's go into settings and I'm gonna come down to software update under beta updates 
let's expand that and showing here that the uh, update is iPad OS 26 developer beta before that it showed that there was an update so I'm assuming that uh, it updated to uh, beta 3 on this screen it shows iPad OS is up to date let's go out to the main screen and I see nothing really has changed at the outset if I scroll down from the top is that liquid glass still there yeah it's still here and this is my setup yeah let's uh, go into files for example and I don't have my external SSD drive attached to this but uh, what I mentioned before was these uh, traffic lights upper left hand corner if I tap on that see I can either dismiss the screen I can uh, reduce it I can grab this corner here at the bottom and move this around to expand it and I can scroll down from the top and I get this menu here throughout all the apps and there are the headlights I can tap on that and close the screen out let's launch something then I'll conclude the video let's launch uh, let's say YouTube let's go to YouTube and uh, there it is okay if I were to scroll down from the top we get that menu again I like that feature this is what gives it that Mac feel and if I tap on those traffic light icons there I can say reduce it grab a corner move it around you can have multiple windows here and all you have to do is simply uh, hover over the headlights there and hold down on that and you have different options here to uh, split your screen up into different sections I'm not gonna do that now I'm going to uh, expand it out and then uh, scroll down from the top tap on the traffic lights and let's dismiss this so what I see here is not anything that's major let's scroll down from the upper right hand corner here and I don't see anything different now of course this is my layout now if I want to change this look I can just hold down on the mouse there and there's an edit button upper left hand corner if I tap on that I can um, tap customize and at the very bottom we have default dark clear and tinted I have clear selected and I have auto selected that's my setup if you want to change your wallpaper you could hold down on the screen go to edit and you'll see an edit wallpaper link there or just go into settings and on the left hand side scroll down to wallpaper and it's going to show you your current wallpaper to add a new wallpaper let's click on that blue add new wallpaper and I see there on the left hand side there's a also that's a photograph of me but it's animated that's pretty cool but you have a a lot of wallpapers here that you can uh, use at the very top there's featured wallpapers you scroll through there and find something that you like there's a photo shuffle spatial scenes I like that that's what I showed you up here initially and there's weather and astronomy uh, in fact, the wallpaper that I'm using right now is under this category of weather and astronomy. I picked the second one there from the left. There are emoji wallpapers, kaleidoscope wallpapers, unity wallpapers, pride wallpapers. Beta 2 only had one iPad OS wallpaper I see for now. And there's a collection section of wallpapers and there are colors at the very bottom. Okay, so you would simply just select the wallpaper that you want and then apply it. I like what I have right now on my desktop that you see here. And to close things out, I'll just scroll down from the top. And this is what I have. I'm going to dismiss this 
the vacation center stuff here. And this is my look. Okay, so so far I'm liking what I see, even with this beta 3 update. So that's it for this video. And until the next update, where there's a beta 4 or 5 or whatever, I'll do those just to keep you updated. But for those individuals who are saying that uh, beta 3 killed the uh, liquid glass, listen, I'm not seeing that. This is beta 3 that I'm running right now. And there's my liquid glass. There it is. Okay. So until the next video, please take care of yourselves.